I'm telling you right here. I'm telling you right here. This book has made my top 10 of 2018 by far, by far. So great. So great. Hey guys, Ashley here. Today I am super thrilled and super excited slash hyped to give you my spoiler free review of The Savior's Champion by Jenna Moresi. Well, now I was sent this book for review by the author herself, Miss Jenna, for my honest review and opinion. So thank you so much for sending me this. No regrets. No regrets at all. If you don't know what the Savior's Champion is about, we follow our main character Tobias as he enters a tournament called the Sovereign's Tournament with 19 other men in order to win the hand of their holy blessed magical queen called the Savior. Now the Savior, Tobias, unlike many other people in his realm who worship her, does not give a shit about her. He doesn't care. She thinks he's, she's overrated basically. He does not like her. He's basically voluntarily enlisted himself in this tournament to the death because when you enter the tournament you do receive some cash which his family does desperately need so he's going into it for their sake. However, when he does enter this tournament, he obviously beside the fact in order to try to not die, he realizes that the Sovereign's Tournament isn't as straightforward as it's seen this long tradition that they've had every couple of decades to win the heart of the savior. It is full of corruption, manipulation, betrayal. Something is not quite right with these people, let me tell you. And in the midst of all this, of course, he finds himself in a very sticky romantic situation he did not expect himself to be in. And that is where all this craziness ensues. Haha. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I did not expect to like this one as much as I did. You know, I, I read the plot and I was like, ooh, this sounds super interesting. I'm really intrigued. But holy shit, guys. This this was so good. I know it's generic of me to say, but it was really stinking good. Five out of five stars for Sure. And I've said this before in my previous haul, if you watched me when I hauled this baby, but you give me anything that's like fantasy, romance, and tournaments, and I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. Aha! But yeah, like I was saying, this tournament they have, it's a long month-ish long tournament that they hold, and it is brutal. If you cross a bitch, he will kill you. There are so many unexpected character deaths and I was just like, oh, you just died. Ha. Huh. So don't be getting attached to anybody. Bitches be dying everywhere, honestly. It's bloody, it's violent, it's sexy. Hmm. Overall, a really well-developed story. The pacing of this book is what I found the most enjoyable. Immediately you are thrown into Tobias being faced when his best friend tries to convince him to join this crazy ass tournament because you have to volunteer yourself into this tournament. And he's like, hell no, no way. I would never enter this tournament. Are you crazy? I don't care about the savior. I don't want to marry her. No, why would I enter this tournament? But the cash prize is what eventually entices him to enter it. And I just think that says a lot about his character. He He's so selfless in the sense that he's willing to go through his brutal tournament to the death where there's basically only two outcomes. You either are going to die because this is a fight to the death. Bitches are going to kill you or you marry the savior. So it's death or marriage to a person that you don't even necessarily know or like. But he's doing all this to help support his family. And that is definitely one thing about Tobias that I admire throughout the story. His intentions are definitely consistent throughout the whole book. And the Sovereign's Tournament is definitely testing of your mental, physical, everything. So like I said before, these challenges are brutal. The front cover says respect the labyrinth, obey the labyrinth, because they're basically thrown into this labyrinth underground for a period of time and man, shit ensues. As well as just immediately throwing us into this story, I never, felt bored because even with some of my favorite books there's always like a part where i'm like ah eh, like i don't care about this part let's, let's go let's go let's move on every single part of the savior's champion i was really enthralled and enticed by and it was just really intriguing i think that has a lot to say about the pacing of the story everything is so well paced like i said before immediately thrown in and i feel it like because the whole book does surround around this tournament of sorts. You're always facing these challenges as the characters are. It's from Tobias's perspective. So every time there's a new challenge within the Sovereign's tournament, just like him, you're like, oh my God, 
what is going to happen, what's the next thing, who's gonna die this time in this challenge. Because slowly as this story proceeds, the number of 19 men slowly starts to wean down. And you see how their characters are breaking down, their mental state, everything. And I said this before in my other video too, this is like some weird, messed up, The Bachelor meets The Hunger Games. Because all these people, I feel like like the Hunger Games, you're forced into this weird situation where you're all trying to be the last standing man, but you can't help but form alliances in this sticky situation. So you find yourself wondering and thinking, who can I trust? You have to make friends in a sense. You're all in this weird, tough situation that's testing you mentally and physically. And I found it really interesting to see how all these character relationships developed and how some people started to become less trustworthy than others and some people people ended up sacrificing themselves for others. It was just very interesting to see all those character dynamics. Speaking of characters, we have 19 characters in this book. Granted to say, not all of them last beyond a certain page count because they die. But Jenna did a fantastic job at painting all these characters very visually in my mind. Each of them stand out on their own and oh my god, this cast is so diverse, let me tell you. So, so diverse, which I really appreciated. They were all great and anytime one of them died, I was like, oh, but I was just starting to like you. You were just getting great. Like, why, why, why? Also, like I mentioned before, Tobias does encounter a surprise romance in this tournament and I, I liked the romance. I really did. It developed really nicely. It wasn't insulavi in any way. It was understandable in the circumstances that they're in. And I found myself rooting it from the beginning. And I'm like, yes, yes, you go. You go. Woo! I'm just gonna keep talking about how incredibly well paced this story is. In a sense, you're Tobias, you're in Tobias's POV. You start to see how this tournament isn't what everyone thinks it is. Because the savior, they don't know who the savior is. A group of people worship someone so much and they just, they're their god basically, and they don't even know what she looks like. They don't even know what her name is. They know nothing about the savior, yet they're willing to kill people and fight people for her. And it's just, how important is this bitch that you wanna fight? for her. Huh? Huh? <laughs> but yeah, I just love how you slowly start to see how this society of like, if you want to say royal, starts to unravel. You see the corruption. You see something is not quite right here. I uh, love me some good drama, corrupted secrets. But yeah, I am so, so excited for book two. And also, can we talk about this cover design? It is beautiful. On the back, so each of the champions that are in the Sovereigns tournament are placed into different categories. We have the Lords, the Sovereigns, the Stalwarts, and the Beast. And each of these get a laurel. So Tobias, he's labeled as the artist. And I think it comes to show you that do not underestimate people on how they look. I have nothing but good things to say about the Savior's Champion. And please, please, please go pre-order or order depending on what day you're watching this and support this and come rave about it with me because I need people to hype this up. It is so great and this story is so worth being told. Again, if you like fantasy, romance, tournaments, killing, violence, bloody shit, this is for you. This is for you. I will say this leans more towards the adult fantasy side because again, it's violent and it's sexy. But all the things I love, of course, you know, I'm really in love with this book. I was in love with all of the challenges that each of the competitors had to face. I found myself never being cliched. I really applaud Jenna for being able to create so many challenges within the labyrinth that kept me on the edge of my seat every single time and constantly surprised about what the twist in each challenge was gonna be. And you know, apparently these challenges are supposed to be able to test your ability to be compatible with a savior, but like, like, how, for example, is being tortured to death and trying to remain the most calm testing your ability for that? That's one example. Ha! Huh. That was my review of the Savers Champion by Jenna Moresi. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go and please, please, please support this author and purchase this book. Definitely worth it. Like I said, it makes my top 10 list of 2018, no doubt about it. Now, also, Jenna is actually also a very popular YouTube here on YouTube, so all the list all her links down below. She has a bunch of cool writing tidbits and just general writing and bookish 
tips and she also has a bunch of the Savior's Champions extras where she reveals some of the characters so she does a bunch of challenges and tag videos I highly recommend go checking her out I will list all those links down below all right guys that is the end of my review please comment down below if you're looking forward to reading the Savior's Champion I hope you do please go order don't forget to give it a like in the down below all right guys my name is Ashley this is Ashley L. Page and I'll see you guys next time bye thank you